Greetings, dear ones. I'm Cryon of Magnetic Service. For over two decades, we've said this, those words. And in each time it is fresh. For those who sit in front of me now compose a unique group of human beings. More than unique, the purpose of your being here in this room today is unique and specific. It's been called a workshop. A time when you react to one another, react to the energy, ask the questions that are important. An eclectic group of human beings who all have one thing in common. Your old souls, and you want to know more about yourself. The questions asked today, the subjects discussed in the workshop, we've all seen. Dear ones, I want to start with this. There is a paradigm shift from what you expect from God. I don't know how to make this clearer for you. So let's start this way. How do you define who's talking right now? Are you aware that there is a multi-dimensional aspect to the message. Channeling is not linear. It is not something that happens each day of your life in this fashion. There's something going on here that is beyond that which your sight can see in 3D. There is an entourage who we've described and labeled, identified, defined in the room right now in the room. It's difficult for you to see this, feel it, understand it, even believe it. Not all of you do. You want to, but it's here. The veil that separates us is starting to change its paradigm as well. There used to be a uniform veil and that separates, I would say, the creative source energy from your knowing about the energy. It is so thick and complete in all of these decades and centuries that you feel alone. When humans began to realize there's a God and a creative source and that there's a connection, there was all manner of conjecture how to make the connection. How do you talk to God? How do you get to God? This is where the doctrines came from. You do this, you do that, you do this. Everything is linear. You got to go here, you got to go there. It was good. You know what's good about it is that humanity was starting to see that there was more. Starting to try to climb the ladder to God. Whether it was accurate or not doesn't matter. It's the, it's the consciousness of intent to make the connection. Do you know what that does to us? If you were somehow separated from your children right now with a veil where they couldn't recognize you and they started to combine together, the children all combining together and saying, we know our parents are out there somewhere. Let's figure out where they are, how to talk to them. Wouldn't matter what they did. And the answer is no. The fact that they knew you were there would comfort your heart, would it not? Would it not? 
Even if the line was dead on the phone, the fact that they were dialing your number would make you feel good. They're trying. They know we're here. All is not lost. They know we're here. That was the beginning. In this new energy, the paradigm of the veil has started to shift. It is not linear. It is not for all. One is not for all. There's not just one big wall. Instead, the wall has your name on it. And there are those of you who are going to pierce this veil better than others because you're going to figure it out. It's unique. Human to human. The veil will open for many and stay the same for others. And you may say, well, that, that's not really fair, is it? Oh, yes, it is. Because now it is a shift of responsibility. The human who starts to make the connection through compassion, through understanding, through love, through a neutrality of opinion and bias is going to pierce it fully. You're going to feel the connection to spirit and you're going to take our hand and you will be the shaman of the new age. You'll be connected and others will ask, how do you do it? And you'll be able to tell them. It's not a uniform veil anymore. So I want to tell you right now what the big issue is. All in love. I want you to relax in the arms of spirit right now. I want you to feel this. The entourage is here. There is nothing but benevolence and love and compassion. This is not a teaching session. This is a love session. It's a compassion session. Because what you're going through is being better connected. The recalibration that your body and your mind, the confusion, it's still recalibration. You're doing more than dialing the number. You're connecting. And you're not going to get a busy signal. Do you hear me? The connection will not be necessarily what you expect, but it's there. Each human being is aware of specialists. In your society, in your culture, at the level of sophistication that you have, you're used to specialists. You hire them all the time. When you want to figure out that which is your communication device or your telephone or how to connect your, your television or whatever, you call a specialist. And they will install and they will inform and they will work with you because you don't know it all. You have that paradigm already. And yet, when you want to connect a spirit, you don't have that paradigm. Instead, you're linear. What can I do? How can I do it? What is next? What is the best way? What is not the best way? You're on your own, aren't you? Well, you're not. Here's what I want you to know. The fact that you are willing to connect and asking the questions on how you invoke a specialist, which is your higher self, and it knows how to connect. What I want to tell you is stop the minutia of the how-tos and just let it be. Can you do this? There is no how-to 
When you stand at the threshold of the glory of the Creator and you have God inside, the connection is there. Stop the linearity. Stop the questions of, I'm not doing it right, or I'm doing it wrong, or I'm trying this, or I'm trying that, and get out of the way. Because we want in. Couldn't be clearer. You're going to have to change your attitude. Are you aware that all day long we're here? Are you aware that God walks with you? Every day, every moment, every word. Like you'd walk with your children if you could. Every day, every word. Because of the love you have for them, you just want to be at their side. You want to watch them make mistakes, but you want to be with them. Mom, you can relate to this, can't you? I'm counting on the women in the room relating to this fast and first. Because you set the stage for the gentleness, the joy, the celebration of being with your kids. And that's what we have. Only you're not our kids. You're family in a whole different way. whole different way. Our hand is outstretched to you in a way you cannot believe. And when you give intent to make the connection, it starts being made, despite the flurry of your questions that are so linear, of the how-tos, and am I doing it right? <laughs> yes, you're doing it right. By sitting in the chair with me right now, can you feel this with me? This is not the man talking. Can, are you aware of that yet? From the other side of the veil, I speak to you as a family member, such love, such benevolence, saying, we are with you now. And in the connection process that each one of you has, which is really individual and unique, we are the specialists cell by cell, working with you on a daily basis so that the frequency of your consciousness and your body starts to work better with us. You've got a friend in God. How about that? Gone are the days when you have to figure it out. The new energy for the old soul is about joining together. Not about shoulds or have tos or how tos. Many of you are feeling this and you're not really sure of what it is. The questions that are asked that are frustrating, I can't figure this out, perhaps, or when is this going to happen, perhaps. Or how is the best way, perhaps? All of these are old energy questions because you're there. The when is when you're ready. Can you understand this? And when you're ready, you'll enjoy it. <laughs> Don't be so impatient. How impatient have your children been? Very. <laughs> For everything. Very. It's the same. The human being wants to join with spirit. And the old soul feels it. Every cell. I want more. I want more. Well, there is more. And it starts to infuse with you in a confluence of energy with your soul that suits you as you need it as you desire it, without you doing anything but connecting through intent. What does that mean, crying? It means you want it, so you're getting it. Could it be clearer? 
by your actions today of sitting in the chair, asking the questions, wishing to know more, taking the notes, feeling the celebration, enjoying the love, all of that creates a symbiotic relationship with the higher self in you. You're getting it. I want, when you, when you leave, I want you to go home knowing that you're different than when you came. You got a little more of it. Don't leave in frustration. And don't leave thinking this was simply a workshop. Or are you going to limit yourself again? I want to tell you what happened here. You got closer. Can you feel it? You got closer. And it doesn't go away when you leave. And when you wake up tomorrow or the next day, I want you to feel it. You got closer. You got closer to what you came for. Understanding. A feeling of peace every day. A reason for living. Connection to the family. Benevolent outcome. Maybe it's not fast enough. But you're connected. It's time is when it's time. It should be good enough for you because you're there as part of the engine of the planet's recalibration. That's who you are. What you do today affects the planet, affects the cosmos, affects everything. I close with this. The greatest energy in the cosmos is love. It's a big word. And you can't define it. It's more than just grace or compassion or benevolence. It's a way of being. That's the connection. Worry, doubt, frustration, and fear are like blankets that get in the way. If you're going to throw walls in your development, that's how to do it. Worry, frustration, fear. It's time to change it. It's time to erase them on purpose with intent and see the connection. That's when the old soul will soar and your life will change. You came for a healing today. I just told you how to get it. It's all with the consciousness that you're developing and every cell in your body is going to cooperate with you and your decision. Whatever you have going on in your body, localized, whatever you think it is and where it is, is controllable with your consciousness today and what you decide and what you think. Because your cells are listening to whether you made the connection to the family today. Balance is yours. Because that's what the body wants. Meliha, you mentioned in the meditation the source of love. What is your source? It's the other side of the veil. It's the family. It's the connection. That's your source. Go get it. It's waiting. It's here. Can you feel this? The entourage is pressing on you and looking at you right now and saying, be one of us, not apart from us. Change the paradigm of humanism today and relax in the arms of God. 
And so it is.